Hello, everybody. I'm back. It's Facebook Friday. It has been two weeks since we had a Facebook Friday because I was in Arlington last weekend um, at Stampin' Up's onstage event, but I'm back. And this week, we're going to be making three projects with a cottage wreaths bundle. Here are the dies. This was on um, unorderable for a while. Uh, I don't, like a month it was it's been really popular but I'm excited it's back in stock and I have lots of things to show you hello 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 I'm glad to see you guys joining me today it is a cold day here I know some of you up north are getting <laughs> hammered with snow right now crazy it feels like too early for all that doesn't it I don't know my daughter even said what why is it happening so early I think we just forget right Hello, hi Lisa, hi Antoinette. Okay, let's see, let me make sure I got you guys. I have so much to show you. I just don't really even know where to start, how much to show you, it's a lot, all right? Um, I think what I'm gonna do is save all of my pre-order stuff, the stuff from the new catalog, coming January 5th. I have products that I've ordered from here. I'm going to save that to the end so we can get Facebook Friday done in the hour that I have. And then the extra time, I'll we'll run through some of the things that I got. If you want to see that, then you can hang around. Um, I'm going to show you my stamp set in just a minute. I'm very excited to show you that. Um, let me run through a couple announcements. Um, I don't even know where to start with that. Okay, how about this? So... I, right now, literally on my porch, is my amazing male lady picking up 120 medium flat rate boxes. A ton. Um, if you order the holiday retreat, it's leaving my house as we speak. So it's on the way to you. Um, if you ordered the class to goes um, with your retreat, they're in the box. If you ordered them separately, they actually shipped, I can't remember exactly which day, Tuesday, Monday, one of those days, they're on their way to you. Um, because I had all this going on, I cut the supplies for these class kits like a month ago. I kind of estimated in my mind how many I would need, and I cut all of them so that when I got to November, it's just a whole process. I had to work way ahead of time. So that means that I have extra class kits. Now, this one has all the product in it. This is what yours will look like when it comes to you. This is the only one I have like this. Um, same with the Scotties. I don't have very many of the Scotties. This one was much more popular <laughs> than this one this year. Um, and this one wasn't even designed by me. My amazing downline, Deborah. She did an amazing job. Um, but I have a handful of these and a little more than a handful of these. Um, so if you're interested in the shaded, not shaded spruce, sp spruced, what is it called? Spruced, um, I totally can't remember now. What is it called? Spruced up, spruced up class to go. <laughs> <laughs> if you would like one of these, email me. I will order your product and I will expedite it to my house and I will get your kit that will look like this out within just a couple of days. Um, same with the Christmas Scotty's class kit, okay? Um, the shaded the shaded spruce, why do I keep calling it shaded spruce? <laughs> Spruced up, class to go has 10 cards. This is called a stamp stack where you, when you're done, you have a stack of cards, right? Because you'll need a whole bunch of cards to send out for Christmas. So that is the shaded, the spruced up class to go. Have I called it shaded spruce every single time? I don't know why suddenly I can't remember the name. And then the Christmas Scotty class is kind of a little variety class. It has three cards, a gift card holder, and a treat bag. Um, you can get them with or without the bundle. I don't have those here. I have to, I can't order those until you guys have ordered them from me. So, but I am going to be putting in some expedited orders every couple of days. Um, if you want to get some last minute, I know it doesn't feel like last minute, but when you have to make stuff, kind of, this is kind of last minute in my mind to get it out in the mail to you. So if you would like either one of these class kits, I have a handful of, and a little more than a handful of both of them, okay? So just email me, that would be the best way, and then I could just invoice you. Email me, let me know um, what it is that you want. Um, we have a really, no, let me show you this first, and then because I need to flip the camera around. Um, adhesive kits, you guys have been asking me for adhesive kits for a while, and to be honest with you, I ordered the adhesive 
a long time ago and I just haven't found the time to put them together. Well, today I got those boxes out on the front porch and this is what I've worked on, packing up adhesive kits. Um, adhesive kits include stamp and seal, dimensionals, glue dots, tear and tape, Tombow, and the, fifth, the first 50 will actually include something that's been discontinued as a little gift. It's the um, Shimmery Crystal Effects. Um, you can use this as glue, it's super strong as glue, but it's not designed to be glue. It's like kind of um, like a crystal, like sparkly little, like not puff paint, but you guys know, the little the little accents you, like we used them a couple weeks ago, right? The, the, um, the dots. So that is free um, as a bonus for the first 50. So they come with a cute little bag. They come with all that um, adhesive. And then um, I will ship them to you. I can ship one in a regular padded envelope for $6, or I can ship two like this in a padded flat rate envelope for $8. So these make great gifts. They are $33 plus either $6 shipping for one or $8 shipping for two, okay? Um, so if you're interested in these, I will ship them um, daily within at least 48 hours of when you purchased it. If you bought it like today, then obviously it wouldn't go out to probably Monday, but within about 24, 48 hours when you buy them. Um, and if you need extra adhesive, more than what's in there, then you can email me and I can add adhesive to your kits as well. Um, they may not hold a whole lot more, but I can always put more in your envelope, okay? Okay, so those are the adhesive kits, $33. There is a link at the bottom of my blog. Has, have you guys checked the blog post? Is it up? The bottom of my blog, as well as on the PDF today, okay? And yes, Karen, like a glaze. Yes, exactly, kind of like a glaze. Um, and then it dries real hard and uh, like permanent. Um, when we used to have regular crystal effects and it wasn't sparkly, we would use it for adhesive for um, heavy things because it is super strong. So anyway, um, these are, if, you, if you're looking for the link, you're on my blog at the very top, there's a button that says shop, you click that, it drops down and it'll say past class kits. That's where they are because I don't have anywhere else to put them. So past class kits, you can buy one or two at a time. Okay, so that is that. Um, okay, you guys are here. I feel like enough of you are here for me to show you my stamp set. Now you've probably already seen it because I've posted a lot of pictures of it. Were you guys surprised? Were you shocked? Did, did you guess that my stamp set was tacos? <laughs> I have been sitting on this for two years, you guys. When you design a stamp set and it's going to be in a catalog, it's like two, the blog post is up because the picture, picture's not the right one. Christine, I always forget to change the picture. Thank you. I'll do that while we're talking. So um, when you design a stamp set to go in the catalog, it's a, it's a, two-year process at minimum. Um, it's been over a year since we finalized the designs, right? So I've been, I've been waiting, wanting to tell you guys to show you everything. Um, so Taco Fiesta is the stamp set. Here were my two requirements, okay? I wanted it, to, I wanted my stamp set to be fun and lighthearted. Um, and two, I wanted to be able to color with my blends. You guys always hear me say, I love black line images. These are just outlined images that I can color with my blends. So this is what we came up with. One Saturday, my mom and I went to her house and we got these big pieces of paper and we wrote, we brainstormed ideas. I mean, we took it super seriously. And we had three main, three big ideas. And we were like, you know, all the different ideas. And I wanted little puns, funny puns. I know it's backwards. Um, but I wanted funny little sayings, cute, fun. Um, and so the taco stamp set had a hundred ideas. So that's what we went with. They have these little faces right here. These are all individual stamps that you can then stamp on all your, your little things. Um, there is a taco. And then if you were at my presentation, I said, for all you weirdos who prefer soft tacos, we have soft taco for you too. Um, I, in my family, when we have taco night, I am the only one that eats the crunchy taco. The rest of my family are weirdos and they want a soft taco. So it was a big debate in Arlington. We all laughed. Um, also, I was informed that people in Europe more, will be more likely to eat a soft taco than a crunchy taco. I don't know if that's true. 
but that was what Stampin' Up! came back with. So you have, this is, um, people call it a llama, it's really a pinata. I guess it's a llama pinata. Um, cactus, tiny chili pepper, sombrero. You can stamp the sombrero, color it, put it on your taco, your pepper, whatever. Avocado, uh, mustache, that's my favorite face. The little chips and guacamole, and then like confetti. And this is what it says, you spice up my life. So that goes with a pepper. Um, your nacho average friend. Uh, holy guacamole, it's your birthday. Spectacular and long time no taco. We had no less than probably 50 puns. Um, but of course you can't include 50 puns in your stamp set. So um, I'm super proud of it. It's, it's silly and it, I know it won't be for everybody, but I think it's very different. I didn't want it to be um, similar to things that we had. I wanted to be very different and I can pretty much guarantee we've never had a taco stamp. <laughs> Um, so let me show you a couple samples. Now it won't be available. If you're a demonstrator, you can order it December 1st, but if you are a customer, you won't be able to order it until January 5th. I probably will do a class to go, um, with the stamp set. And you guys are asking for me to autograph them. If you buy the stamp set within the class to go, I will definitely autograph them for you. Although I feel silly. I'm gonna have to practice my signature. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I will sign them for you. That will be coming in January, okay? We've got a long time. We gotta get through Christmas before we can do that. Um, but here, let me show you, I made a swap card. Remember when I posted last week the background? This is the background with, look, he's got the sombrero and he's got the little mustache. And then the little soft taco back there, he's got just a smiley face. Um, long time no taco. And then um, this is what I made for my team. These cute little pinata, they have gummy pinatas. <laughs> I'll show you where I got those when we get there, I promise. That's a fun little treat. I've heard a lot from you that say you have birthdays around Cinco de Mayo, so this would be a great stamp set for that. I think the stamp set is great for any time. It's good for men, for women, for kids, for adults, for birthday, for thank yous, for thinking of you. I think it just can cover everything. Um, here is the first card that I presented at OnStage. I think this is my favorite. Um, I use the, um, now I can't picture this dies. I don't know what I was going to call them. All right, so there's that. And then here's one more. I'm not going to show you all of them because we got to save some things for January. But this one is the little pinata. And do you guys remember when we did the donkey with the, the wire? So I did the pinata like that as well. All right. So anyways... I can finally spill the beans and tell you guys that that's my stamp set. I hope you guys like it. I, you know, after all the decisions were made, then my mind started like, was that a dumb <laughs> stamp set? Um, you know, your brain starts like second guessing. But um, I'm going to talk to you guys while I fix my blog post. Um, I'm, I'm proud of it. And I think it's fun, and I think it's silly, and I think it um, is different than anything we've had, which were the really it was what I wanted. I wanted something super unique and fun and silly. So that's where we are. Okay, I'm going to fix my blog post. I don't think I can talk while I do it. Let me fix the image. I've told you guys before, when I create a blog post, I copy, you know, you like copy the last blog post over. So when I do that, there's all these little things on the side you have to change, like the categories and the cover photo and all that. And I forget to change those all the time. So if you ever see the wrong picture on my um, blog, that's why. <laughs> and you could tell me, you forgot to change the picture again, and I'll fix it. Um, I just, you know, usually I do this on um, Thursday night while we're watching something. We were watching Yellowstone last night, so I was quite distracted. Okay, I think I have it fixed. Okay, I'm going to flip you guys around and show you a couple of things, and then we're going to stamp, okay? Um, Carrie says, I'm in Mexico. Great stamp set for some pages. Oh, my gosh, I didn't even think about that. Yes. Okay, let me turn the camera around. Um, and you know what else, Carrie, which is really funny? Um, the next incentive trip for um, demonstrators is a trip to Mexico. And when they announced that, in, I don't know, it was like late spring, I was like, oh my God, my stamp set's perfect for all of us who are going to Mexico on the incentive trip. So hopefully it stays around. Right now, it's only gonna be in the four month catalog. I don't know if it'll carry over. I, I feel like it most, it probably will not carry over. 
Um, so it's going to just be a four month thing, which is kind of stinky, but hey, I have a stamp set and I'm proud of it and that's okay. It can last for only four months and I'll still be proud of it. Okay, let's talk real quick about the sale. Today's the last day. If you haven't put your order in yet, do not wait until 11.45 tonight. Please do not do that because I can tell you every single time somebody emails me and says, says I was putting in my order and then all of a sudden everything was gone. Well, because the clock turns over to midnight and the prices go back. So don't wait. Don't put it off. Don't be a procrastinator, okay? This is probably the best sale Stampin' Up! has ever done. Um... 10% off all punches, 15% off all stamps, um, the host stamps not included, 20% off all dies. And this is stuff from the annual catalog, not the holiday catalog, right? Suddenly I'm second guessing myself, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just the annual catalog. I changed the verbiage here and now I, I don't remember what it said. Um, I wanted to change it for me. 20% off all dies, embossing folders, and non-specialty designer series papers. So paper that doesn't have like the metallic stuff on it or, um, you know, we have some other kind of shimmery. Those are those are specialty papers. Um, okay, so today's the last day, right? And if you have put your order in since Tuesday and you've used the host code, this is what you're going to get. If you spend $35, you're going to get the make and takes from today always, right? And that offer is good through Monday at midnight. If you spend $50, you're going to get this month's all-star tutorial bundle, which I will email out next week, okay? You're going to get the make and takes from today, plus an embellishment from the holiday catalog. I will order those um, Sunday night, overnight them, have them here Tuesday, and put them in your make and take packages, okay? If you spend $100, you're going to get the make and takes, the all-star bundle, tutorial bundle, this, the uh, the embellishments, plus I'm going to throw in two adhesives in there. My, my choice, I'm going to throw in two adhesives that I love. I promise you will be happy, okay? Um, so that's what, now these two things, the $50 and the $100, are only good through tonight, 11.59 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, okay? So make sure you're checking those time zones because that could be a different time for you. Um, then after, then after tonight, all orders this weekend and Monday, you'll still get the make and takes over $35. Okay. Okay. So that is that. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on that because I feel like I've already kind of beat that drum all week. Um, I still have class kits for sale, old class kits. These would make great Christmas presents too. If you have family members, um, you know, sisters, moms, um, girlfriends, whatever, that like to stamp. I've got a lot of class kits left. There are some calendar class kits in there too. And I don't think I'm going to do a calendar class this year. I've done a calendar class the last two years. And I don't, I just don't think I'm going to do one this year, you guys, because there's not really a good stamp set. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to decide all that next week and the last week of November for what's coming in December, okay? Okay. Um... Let's see. I'm going to save all my pre-order stuff for the end of the video today. So you guys hang around if you want to see my pre-order stuff um, after the make and takes. Let's see. Oh, Michelle, that's so funny. I just saw your comment. Will you be doing a calendar class this year? You know, I really like doing those calendar classes, but I'm kind of stuck. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Probably not but maybe if I can come up with something, did you guys like it last year? How I used the bundles from club create. I feel like I always try to just limit it to like one stamp set that you need the year before we did the mixed up menagerie on all of them. But this year I'm kind of like, you know, I don't know. So you guys, if you have feedback on that, let me know. Um, Patty Grana, Grana, you are the winner this week. Um, of sweet gingerbread. Um, Patty, uh, if I don't believe I have your mailing address. So if you would email me, please, so that I can get this out to you next week. Thank you so much for sharing my video. You can share my video on YouTube or on um, Facebook and um, you'll be entered to win. Next week, I've got two forever friendship stamp sets. These are so cute. Um, I'm not real sure. You know, I've done the 12 days of Christmas Facebook Lives the last couple of years, and it's really hard <laughs> to, to, to do. So I'm thinking of changing it this year. I think we're still going to do 12 
days of Christmas, but they won't all be live. So stay tuned. I'm going to, now that my Christmas retreat is gone and out of my brain, I could start thinking of December and, and uh, what we're going to do. So stay tuned. All those details will come out probably after Thanksgiving. Okay. Okay. I think we are, hold on, hold on. I think we're there. Let me see. Did I miss anything? Um, Michelle, you love last year's calendar. I know I did too, but was it okay that I used so many different bundles on it? My easel calendars didn't sell at my craft fair. Oh, Bonnie, that's surprising. Those calendars usually sell really well at craft fairs. Um, oh, I'm glad you like the stamps, Janice. And Michelle confirmed it's just the annual catalog products that are on sale. So, um, December 1st, the last chance list from the holiday catalog will come out. That means all the things in this catalog that are leaving, um, will everything will turn while supplies last. And some of them, maybe about half of them, will be on sale. So watch for that information um, around December 1st, I believe. Um, just keep an eye on that. That'll be another good sale. All right, so we are here, we are done, we're ready to go. Let me get set up. This week we are using the Cottage Wreaths Bundle. There is a free um, PDF over on my blog, um, pinkbuckroo.com. Scroll down under the photos, you'll find it. And um, everything that I talked about is on here. There's, there's links that you can click here for those. Um, there's a host code right here. That's the host code connected to this sale right here, as well as if you decide to shop this weekend, if you're ordering Christmas stuff or whatever, um, you could still earn the make and takes um, through Monday at midnight. Okay, supply list, measurements, it's all here. Okay, oh, this is what they look like when they come. You'll need the stamps and the dies, the cottage wreaths bundle. Now I'm using two sentiment stamps from other stamp sets. Um, so you can use whatever you have if you don't have those. I don't send any pre-stamped images. That's against policy. That's a big no-no. Um, I do send you a thank you tag, but all the stamping for your projects, you'll have to do on your own. That's like the golden rule of stamping up. <laughs> for stamping up demonstrators. Thou shalt not send pre-stamped images. That is like a big no-no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get started. So did I lose the bundle? Here it is, right here. Cottage wreath has a ton of dies, different ways to make um, the, the wreath. I actually designed four really cute projects back in the summer for a team training that we did. I was going to use with you guys like in the fall. And then it went on unorderable and it was unorderable for a really long time. So <laughs> I had to come up with some new things. I couldn't use those projects. I'll show you them when we're done. Um, one's a Halloween project, obviously it's too late, um, but it's a really good set. The wreath sets are always really, really popular uh, for whatever reason, and this is a good one too. Now, I um, this week when I was coming up with my other projects, I saw a um, project done, hold on, I'm looking for my stamp artist, a project done by one of our Stampin' Up! artisans. Do you guys know what Stampin' Up! artisans are? Stampin' Up! picks, I'm gonna try to zoom in just a bit. Stampin' Up! picks, a team of demonstrators every year called Stampin' Up! Artisans. I did it for two years. It was a huge honor. And they send you product, you design amazing projects with it. So I, and then they post on their Stampin' Up! Facebook page, all that for you to see. So there was, um, and I can't remember her name. She was really cute. She did kind of this color scheme and she cut these trees out of this paper. Do you recognize this paper? It's the host, the Stampin' Rewards paper. Um, and she just fussy cut these trees. And I was like, okay, I have to do that. That's so cute. I didn't case her. I just cased that idea. Um, my card's a little bit different. So we're going to do that. Um, this wreath, I'm going to give you a few little tips about these, these uh, dies and the, the wreath. There is, let me see, where are my dies? On the dies... Let me make sure I've got all my comments caught up. On the dies, you'll see right here, there's this little notch. You see that? And that notch, see right here, there's a, there's, when you take your, when you take your stamp off of your stamp sheet for the first time, 
mark that with a Sharpie. See right here how I have taken a Sharpie and marked my stamp? Because there's not like a little pokey outy thing <laughs> on it. And so once it's off there, you're like, okay, I don't remember where that was. So take your Sharpie and mark it right there, okay? So that you'll know. And do this one too, right there. So then when you go to cut it out, the, you'll know exactly where to, to do that. Otherwise, you're going to be doing this. Does it go? To, where does it go? How does it, you know, like you just keep turning and turning and turning. So before you do anything else, take your Sharpie and mark your stamp, okay? So that's why mine have those little black dots. Now, the other problem is, and I will probably do it, is if you take your paper off, you know, like I take it off of here and then I throw it around, then I can't remember you know, which way I stamped it. So, in you know, pay attention to what you're doing. And you know what you can do? We'll just put like the, a little star up here so we know that that, see, that's up that way, okay? Now, if I drop the paper, I'll still know where it's at. Okay, this is Poppy Parade. And we're going to ink it with White Craft. Um, white Craft ink is juicy and messy. <laughs> and um, I love it. I use it all the time. We've talked about White Craft ink. It comes in an uninked ink pad with the bottle. So you, da -da -da -da, you know, you fill it in. Um, mine always, tends, always tend to kind of gravitate towards the edges. I don't know why. Um, but... Re-ink it if it's doing weird stuff. Take a spoon, smooth it around. Um, we're using that. You'll notice that there's this texture in here. Um, this is a distinctive stamp, and it has texture. And so when you're using crafting and embossing powder, it's hard to preserve that texture um, as well as you would do with um, regular ink. But... I'm not too worried about the texture. I just really want the wreath shape, okay? Uh-oh, uh-oh, I didn't use my, I didn't put my magnet down far enough. Let's see, there we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, it's lighter in some places than others, and you're gonna think it's not stamping right, but that's how it's designed. If you look carefully at the image, you'll see some of them are lighter than others. All right, so white, embossing powder a little bit more i forgot to use my embossing buddy but i think we're okay whoa hello i think we're okay put that down there and we're gonna grab our heat tool and this will take i don't know maybe 20 30 seconds are you guys ready for thanksgiving i don't know if i am or not I have my grocery list made. My mom and I split duties. And uh, I'm in charge of sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes, a corn casserole that my grandmother always used to make. It's my favorite. I think I'm probably the only one that eats it. <laughs> and uh, this year, my mom bought me a um, cookbook for my birthday that had cakes. It's called Layered. And there's a cake in there called pumpkin pie cake. So I'm gonna make that too. We'll see. Okay, this is the only thing we're cutting out. So I'm gonna bring this over. I like Thanksgiving. I like it better than Christmas. <laughs> I I don't know, Christmas is just a lot of work. And the kids are home and there's just chaos and there's a mess. It's There's all this stuff all over the house and you have to spend all this money and then the presents come and you're like, where do I put these until Christmas? And I'm just a Grinch when it comes to Christmas. I mean, when my kids were little, I love I loved Christmas. Don't get me wrong. I love Christmas. I love that it's Jesus' birthday. But as a mom, I'm just kind of like, ugh, here we go again. <laughs> It's just busy and messy and expensive. All right, so see how we lined that up? That die was like perfect. So make a little notch. Make sure that you um, uh, mark it with a Sharpie, I'm telling you. Because I will tell you the first time I pulled it off of my thing, I did not put a mark on it. And it took me a long time to figure out where that die goes. And... Uh, and uh, once I did, I was like, I am marking this so I don't 
forget. I can share my corn. Who asked for that? Um, Lori, can you share your corn casserole recipe? I will. It has Ritz crackers and almonds on the top of it. And it's like, um, oh, like sour cream, like canned corn, sour cream, some cheese. It's very heavy and rich and delicious. This is my grandmother's recipe. And then it was the sweet potatoes is her recipe too. I don't like turkey. I, I eat everything else. I, I, I don't even put the turkey on my plate. Blech, gross. <laughs> this um, is from Ringed with Nature. I wanted something long and skinny to put there on top of that stitched um, scalloped rectangle. Uh, you guys, um, Catherine says, uh, right there with your Christmas, but I love Thanksgiving. Yeah. And you know what I feel, you know, okay, here's another reason why maybe I don't like Christmas. Because it means the school year is half over. <laughs> and we're halfway to summer, which is the chaotic time of the year for me. And, you know, the kids are home. And I'm trying to work. And blah, 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 blah. I'm just, you know what? Hold on. I got to look. Something's going on outside. Oh, it's my bug guy. Dang it. Okay. You guys, hold on just one second. God, he was coming, you guys. I had to go shut the doggy door. And I have to close all the blinds in the living room. We have this little remote. It's so nice. Okay, back to regularly scheduled program. <laughs> I can hear him out there. I covered up the window because my mail lady was here. So the dogs haven't seen him yet. And if they see him out in the backyard, they're going to go ballistic. All right, so sorry. Um, <laughs> my husband told me they were coming. I forgot. Um... Okay, so mini dimensionals. I cut three um, little trees out with my paper snips. I saw somebody today who joined the group. Whenever you comment, it it um, prompts you to answer some questions so that I know that you're not like a spammer or a bot or something. And somebody today, what the question, the only question really is, what's your favorite stamping tool? And somebody said it was paper snips. And I was like, yes, I love paper snips. And I wouldn't have thought about that, but gosh, they're fantastic. Okay, so three little trees just right there on the wreath. And you know what I did on my original? I put vellum behind there, but I didn't do that today. I don't know. Does it need the vellum, do you guys think? Hmm, I don't know. I cut out a black bow. I was out of black twine, which is what I wanted to use. And then I remembered, oh, hey, there's my magnet. I don't want to lose that. Um, and then I remembered, look, we've got this cute little bow die. So we will do that. It's like a detailed bow. Um, you know, he's going to knock on the door too. Where are my glue dots? He's going to come knock on the door and say, okay, I'm done. You know, like, don't just leave me alone. I, okay. I see you. You're done. So I may have to go answer the door in a minute. All right. Little cute little bow right there at the bottom. Now we're going to add a couple of embellishments, just some matte black dots. Um, so did you guys see the picture I posted two days ago of their, they've started framing our house? My stamp studio is a standalone. The house design, it's actually like a mother-in-law suite. And it has a bedroom, a kitchen, a bathroom, and a tiny little living room. So what we did is none of that big open space. It's about 24 by 24, kind of a, maybe a little bit bigger than a double garage. And we haven't ever, we've walked this house several times other, in other places, but we haven't ever seen it, obviously, with the way the studio or the mother-in-law suite or whatever, the way I want it. So yesterday, I'm adding Wink of Stella because this is Christmas and we need some glitz. So yesterday, you guys, we went back in the afternoon and they had completely finished the framing of my studio and the first floor. I, we're going back over tonight. I'll take more pictures. The best thing is I added a closet and a bathroom, literally so I don't have to leave, right? <laughs> There's a bathroom, I'm gonna have a refrigerator, I'll never leave. Um, and I was worried that it would make the room too small because I wanna be able to maybe have classes in there, have my team meetings in there. But 
I think it's I think it's good. I think it's still going to be a good size. I'm so excited. Also, we made huge windows on the side, like where this desk will be. Huge windows that'll let in a lot of light, lots of light. I just I cannot I can't believe it's finally happening. My husband and I were both like little kids. Like, is this really happening? This is this is our house. It's been a two-year process leading up to now. We've been working on this for two years. Be another probably six to eight months. Okay, I know this is a weird color scheme for Christmas. This paper is um, Black and White Designs DSP. It's kind of in the Halloween section of the holiday catalog. The wreath is, again, that Celebrate Everything DSP, um, the same one as the little trees. That paper is only available... Um, as a stampin reward or a host reward if you spend over a hundred and fifty dollars and it is a fabulous pack all right and then put that in the middle and we are done you like that card I, I don't know Kathy she says she loves it it it's got black people get mad when I use black for Christmas I've said that before <laughs> but I love black and red. This has a little bit of um, pink in it, which is fun. I like pink um, with red for Christmas. I think it's fun and unusual. It's unexpected. Okay, that's card number one. What time is it? 2.36. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm doing good, doing good. All right, so let's move that out of the way. Let me move this and bring over card number two. Now, card number two is also a Christmas card, and it's a little, I think it's a little simpler. I can always tell how simple things are when I film the video, and if the video is short, then it's a simple card. So this time, we're going to use, here's the card. This time, we're going to use the other wreath, this one right here. It's kind of like a grapevine wreath. Do you guys remember that? Is that still a thing? Grapevine? It is, right? Grapevine wreath. Um, and I'm going to again use a Stamparatus. Also, again, remember to mark your stamp so that you aren't... Because this one is actually kind of hard to line up. Where did I put that other magnet? This one is kind of hard to line up. It, well, it's harder than the other one, I thought. Okay, we're gonna do soft suede. No, early espresso. A nice New Year's card. Yes, you're right, that would make a nice New Year's card. All right, early espresso on basic white. And then I'm gonna take this image right here. These are the two little like sprigs. And I am gonna stamp these around and each time I stamp, I'm also going to stamp again before I re -ink. That's going to give you some dark and some light. All right. And now when you go to cut this out with a die, these sprigs are not going to be perfectly fitting in the die. And that's okay. We just wanted some coverage there. We didn't want to just have a blank, you know, um, a blank grapevine wreath that's boring now we're going to cut that out um let's remember that where's the let's put a little star there so we remember it's up here okay um now we're going to do behind it we're going to mount this on a stitched basic white um stylus shape circle and i'm going to do the same thing kind of around on the outside edge this is going to fill in those spaces when after we cut out the wreath all right so just go around stamp stamp off stamp stamp off stampity stamp stampity stamp okay all right now um you know christine I, me too girl me too she says i wanted them to carry this paper over i love this paper this paper is probably my favorite paper ever ever I love it I know I know they yeah, they didn't ask us did they they did not but we've got some other ginghams coming in the spring catalog that are spring colors and that are very cute all right real red berries all the way around boop 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 do 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 da, 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 da. okay We've got that. Now let's bring 
the big guy over and grab that die. This one, these dies almost don't even fit on my magnetic card. This one is this one. And we're gonna put this right here. And even though I know where that notch is, it's still a little tricky. All right, remember, you're lining this up with the grapevine wreath, not with the sprigs, okay? Pepper's growling. I think she knows the guy, the yard guy is in the backyard. He's Is he the bug guy or the yard guy? It's the same company. You know, one comes and sprays for bugs. The other comes and sprays for weeds. I think I think he's here for the weeds today. Oh, yep. Can you hear her? She's going ballistic. <laughs> Hold on. She sounds like a squeaky toy on steroids. Okay, boy, tons of interruptions today. See, my standalone studio, we will not have these problems. We will not, yes, I. You, everybody heard you. I know, you're very bothered by it. I know, yeah, I know. He's offended you greatly. All right, and then we're just gonna put that there on that circle like that. So see how those leaves behind there kind of fill in those spaces that we've cut off. Sweet pepper, oh yes, yeah. sweet sassy pepper. Yes, we're talking about you. Sweet. She's like, who are you talking to? <laughs> Mommy, you're just standing there talking to yourself. Okay, we're just gonna put this together. Here is um, that paper Christine was talking about, the Gingham Cottage, it's on the same page of the catalog, obviously, as the set. It is the best paper in this catalog. Um, mounting it on just basic red. Basic red. <laughs> just mounting it on basic red. That is not a color. It is called Real Red. Real Red cardstock. Oh, did they, Pamela? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Her dog started barking. And you know what? She was upstairs. She was standing at the top of the stairs looking out. We have like two-story windows over there that she could see out of. She was far. And you could still hear that squeaky toy bark. She's very annoyed. Okay. This is just a strip of craft. We're just going to punch it. Do you guys have this punch? It's a great punch. Banners pick, Banners pick a punch. It has a weird name. Someone's called Banners pick a punch. Let me look at my list. I, I had to look it up last night. Yeah. Banners pick a punch. What a weird name. All right. Craft goes across. You want to kind of, um, give your wreath a something to sit on. Um, this is cut out of the white shimmer, white glimmer paper. The red and the white come in the same package. And I should have put this down before we did this, but just a couple of little scallops up here in the corner for, this is from the contour scallop dies. Okay, like that. And then we will get dimensionals. Oh, thank you. She is adorable, but she's spoiled. You know, we've never been good at like training our dogs to have like discipline and like to behave. <laughs> we've never been good. Uh, and that becomes a problem because then they're not so cute. And they're barking their heads off. And she weighs like, I don't know, 12 pounds. She's tiny. And when we go to, for a walk, she acts like she's going to rip out the throat of any dog she meets, regardless of size. Pitbull, no problem. She's going to rip their throats out. I'm like, Pepper, you've got to learn some manners. All right. Merry Christmas on the right side of our um, style of shape banner. I'm just going to put regular adhesive. To go, you know what, this needed to go on this side like that. This goes over here like, like that. And then I, that same black bow we had from last time, we're cutting it from red glimmer paper. You guys, I can hear him. I hope he's not coming to the door because all three dogs are standing in here. And if he knocks on that door, your dogs are going to go crazy. If in your cats, they're all going to, they're all going to hear it. All right, and there it is. This card would be a good um, <laughs> joy. Dogs are meant to be loved, not just Yes, however, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. However, um, this card would be a good 
mass producing, you know, like for your Christmas cards. If you're going to sit down and make like 30 cards, this would be a good one because I feel like it's pretty easy. You that stamparatus, man, you just boop, 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 mass produce back and forth, you know. Okay. And this is mess. This keeps getting crooked and it's bothering me. Okay. So you guys, do you like it? Is it too simple? I think it's pretty easy and we like simple. All right, one more card. No, one more project. It's not a card. And it is going to blow your mind. No, not really. <laughs> that was a little extreme. It's going to, you know, surprise you maybe, but I don't know about blow your mind. Okay, let me clean up my mess. Hold on. This is a um, treat holder and it fits Ghirardelli's okay two little actually you could probably get three Ghirardelli's in there peppermint Ghirardelli's are so good so that's what I've got here our grocery store just did their reset um this week and I was like studying every candy every single thing that they had I bought four boxes of little Debbie snacks <laughs> so get ready we're gonna do some little Debbie's coming up okay so now back to this box this only uses the wreath from this set the sentiment and the actual box come from the Celebrate with Tags bundle. This is a sleeper in the catalog, I think. If you haven't gotten this set, you need to get it. It is so good. This is like um, a pocket for a gift card, and this is like um, a folded tag that you can tie you know, to a bag. And then it's got all these other little things. The heart, I don't even have it on here. The That bigger stitched heart is from this set that I've used a 100 times. Um, it covers all your holidays. You know, you could do Valentine's, you could do Christmas, all, all kinds of things. So um, we're going to use this die right here, okay, to make this box. So cut out your box or your, um, your, your whatever you're calling, whatever this is, the envelope thing. All right, so cut it out from basic. I did it again, real red. Why? My brain does weird things with words. Real red cardstock. It has these tabs here on the side that you would put adhesive on when you fold this over to make a pocket. It also has this score line right here. Do not bend that score line. Okay, did you hear me? Do not do it. <laughs> I mean, if you did, it would be fine, but don't, okay? All right, now take your scissors, trim off those little tabs on the side or use your trimmer, okay? Now, get your Simply Scored or your stamp and Trimmer, whichever you prefer, and put this score line somewhere on one of the, you know, six inches here or whatever. And you're going to make a score at half an inch on either side, okay? So that the base, this, this base is going to be one inch. So half an inch to the right and half an inch to the left, okay? So then it folds up like this. Then you're going to need a piece of real red not basic red, real red, that is six and three eighths by three and three fourths. Um, on the long side, you're gonna score it at, here's my marker, Sandy. If you're watching, I wanna cry every time I look at them. She sent me these discontinued score markers and uh, I literally almost fainted because I've been needing them and wanting them so bad. Anyway, two, <laughs> sorry, that was a tangent. Two and three fourths, okay, on the long side, two and three fourths. And then three and five eighths. Five eighths is just one tick mark past the half. Okay, turn it to the short side and score it at seven eighths, which is just one tick mark shy of the one inch. And then two and seven eighths, which is just one tick mark shy of the three. Okay, so basically this little box that we're making is gonna be seven eighths inches. And this is one inch right here. All right, so now take your bone folder. Oh, I'm doing it with my hands. Picked up my bone folder, set it down, and tried to burnish with my hands. <sighs> All right, now, snippity snip just on the sides. This box is barely going to be seen, so don't worry about getting super fancy with your corners or anything. We're not, we're not going to worry about it. I'm going to use regular adhesive because it's just easier. I'm gonna use Stamp and Seal. If you're worried about it coming apart, use Tombow or Stamp and Seal Plus or Tear and Tape. All right, so I folded those up into that side, and now we're going to 
take these and just, they wrap around, they kind of hug that side like that and that side like that. Okay, so really you just have this little, little box and we're just gonna set it in here. Now, if you wanted to be real fancy, and I hadn't really thought about this, what you could do, when you, when you adhere it here, just make sure you've got it centered, okay? Because it's a little bit shorter. You want it to be just a little bit shorter than the outside edges. If you wanted to be fancy, see, I'm gonna adhere it like this, but what you could do is leave it like this and put some paper here and some more decorations and a little note. But I ain't got time for that. <laughs> I got a lot of treats to make. I gotta make Thanksgiving, so we're just gonna make it easy and fast. So I'm just gonna put some adhesive and fold these up, all right, like that. Now, put in our little yummies in here. You guys, I bought a package of Peppermint Hershey Kisses against my better judgment. I knew I shouldn't do it, and I did it, and they are the best. Have you guys tried the Peppermint Hershey Kisses? I mean, I could literally just eat like a 10 at a time. They're so good. And I know when I buy them that I'm gonna eat the whole bag eventually. Yet I still buy them. What is wrong with me? <sighs> I, the Ghirardelli is good, but I don't think this peppermint bark, I don't, it's good, but I don't think it's as good as the Hershey Kisses. This is the real red from the red and green ribbon combo pack. And that hole that's there was made by the dye, so you don't need a hole punch or anything. And we're just gonna tie that, make a pretty bow. Oh, come on, fingers. You guys, those boxes, <laughs> those retreat boxes that I posted a picture of. Yesterday, my husband came home early from work. He had like a, a slow day, came home. He helped me pack them all, seal them up. I mean, it's a lot of work. It's just very cumbersome. It's like playing um, Tetris, getting everything to fit. Every box is different. Some people add this on. Some people add this on. Some people don't add on. It's, I mean, it is very complicated. So he helped me. I ran to pick up my daughter. Um, he was picking up one daughter. I was picking up the other daughter. I went before him, picked up the daughter, came home. He had finished all the boxes. You know, I was like, oh my God, you're so sweet. Last night, I'm laying in bed, reading my book. He's asleep. I'm falling asleep and suddenly... I remember that I forgot to put something in the boxes. One of the pillow gifts, my retreat has like three different little gifts, treats that we make. And I remembered that they were sitting in the back of the room next door and they did not go in the box. I literally was like, oh my gosh. Couldn't go to sleep, tossed and turned all night. So then this morning, there I am, opening every single box that's already sealed putting those back in the box or putting those in the box and then seal them back up. My fingertips are like shredded. It, it was drama. I was upset with myself. I was mad. Ted did. He stayed and helped me open all the boxes, but man, don't you hate when you make a stupid mistake like that? Ugh. All right. That was a little side story because my hands hurt and I was just going to tell you these have this one. The original has the gingham cottage gingham however i'm basically out i've had like 10 packages of this and i'm <laughs> basically out of red i think i have enough for the cards but i don't think i have enough for these so we're just going to use the sweetest christmas designer series paper put those put that little piece right there i hope you like your box debbie it was those are labor of love and and i can literally say this time it was blood sweat and tears <laughs> I can literally say that. Oh, and the gift that I, you know, this one that didn't go in there was so cute. And I thought, I, I have to open them all. I have to. I, I have to. I can't leave these out. Okay, the sentiment. I just give you guys all kinds of random stories. Real red, basic white. This is from Celebrate with Tags, the sentiment. Now, we're going to cut these wreaths out. Um... They're, we're using the other two dies, these two. And they're very detailed. You can see they've got a lot of what I call um, doodads that are gonna come out. They're very skinny. So what I recommend is using adhesive sheets, okay? So 
when you put adhesive sheets on the back of your cardstock, you are basically turning it into a big sticker, which I love. All right, so get your adhesive on there. And then whatever, I like to just stick that down like that. I've got, obviously I've got red ink on me. It's not blood, it's red ink. <laughs> All right, now these dies are very intricate. And when you have an intricate die and, and then you add something to the back of it, like we've done, it makes the paper even thicker and harder to cut through. So what I recommend is take your die and turn it upside down so that the cut side is up and lay your paper on like this. This is gonna, for whatever reason, and somebody explained it to me one time, I didn't really understand. When you turn your dies upside down, they get more even pressure on the bottom than if you had them the other way. And it, I mean, it totally makes a huge difference with these dies. So run them through once, twice, and then they just are amazingly perfect. All right, you're gonna want your dye brush attachment on your take your pick tool for sure because there's all kinds of these little bitty doodads and we'll just get them out okay and then where's my other take your pick tool right here i have two sitting here because i'm too lazy to switch out the ends <laughs> have one with a poker and and the putty and the other one with a stylus and the brush I'm just, you know, I'm all about the easy, easy button. So I have two. Okay, now, again, do, 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 get all the doodads out. Thanks, Michelle. I hope you guys, if you're demonstrators, I hope you will add Taco Fiesta to your first demonstrator order. I can't wait to see what you guys make with it. I, I mean, when something has been living in your head for this long and a secret to boot, it's just exhilarating once it's finally out. Very, very, very exciting. I have, um, an, I had an extra stamp set. They sent me a couple. And so I gave it to my downline and my friend Anne Marie for her birthday when she was here on Monday for our team meeting. And I was like, I can't wait because she's an awesome stamper. So I can't wait to see what she makes with it. Okay, so we've got these two, right? One is skinnier than the other. So the skinnier one is gonna go on top. I have seen lots of positive comments about my stamp set. And I know it's not, not every stamp set is for everybody, right? Totally, we all agree on that. But um, everybody was super nice online saying really sweet things. And then I saw um, a friend had posted pictures of my display on her Facebook page. And somebody said, yeah, that's really not for me. <laughs> I just laughed. I'm like, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Totally fine. She didn't say it was ugly. She just said it wasn't for her. And I respect that. Totally fine. If you don't like it, you are entitled to your opinion. Just don't tell me. <laughs> Please don't tell me. Oh, we have all different stamping styles. I mean, when you look in the catalog and see all the different varieties of stamps, um, that just shows you how many different opinions. You know, some people like solid stamps, some people like cutesy, some people like floral, some people like beautiful, some like, you know, the ones that are real intricately drawn and look kind of old timey. Those aren't, those aren't my gig, but there are people who love those. So, it's okay. We can all we can all just have our own opinions and be totally fine. <laughs> if you don't like a taco with a mustache, you are entitled to your opinion. I don't know why you wouldn't like it, but <laughs> okay. I forgot to cut the sentiment out. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Now this stamp set we're making all Christmas projects, you guys, but it could be spring. You know, you can do a spring um, project, fall project. I'm going to show you fall project and Halloween project in a little while. Carla says she's going to be on her first order. Thank you. There is a lid for every pot. Christine, I love that saying. I have never heard that. There is a lid for every pot. I agree. I agree. And you know what? At my house, we can't ever find the right lids. <laughs> Does that happen to you guys? I can never find the right lids to go to the whatever pot I, I am using. Ah, 
All right, many dimensionals. Oh, come on, stick, stick. And another thing that has been on back order for the longest time, this was supposed to be in my Club Create kit this month and they were not available. These are the seasonal um, adhesive back sequins. They are now available. And so if you wanna add them to your order, I would recommend you do because they are fantastic. And ta-da, there we go. Isn't that a fun way to use that die? The celebrate with tags die? Um, I need to show you guys how you use it the way it's intended because that's a fabulous die also. I really do want to do 12 days of Christmas coming up in December, wall to wall Christmas projects, as I say every year. Um, my brain just hasn't been able to get there yet. So hopefully we will, once I get through the weekend, I can have my non-turkey Thanksgiving, then uh, I will be motivated, hopefully, to make Christmas projects. Okay, so, um, oh, Michelle says our club crate just arrived. Good, Michelle. Um, oh, let me show you the alternate projects, and then if you want to see the pre-order, I'll do that too, okay? Um, so, this was the Halloween box that I made. I used the... Um, the little spider and there's a technique where you do a circle you put the spider down you stamp it and then you turn the circle each time like 45 degrees and it makes a perfect circle and I couldn't wait to show you guys that but it was on back order and then I ran out of time but anyway it's still cute hat punch that I think that's gone too right <laughs> sold out um so basically if you have those supplies next year there's a Halloween idea for you um, I made this. This will be alternate. Gosh, I meant to post these yesterday too. Oh my gosh, I've been so busy. Ugh. Well, I'll post both of these next week. This one is kind of a winter um, theme. This is the paper from the um, the gnomes paper. You know, can't remember the name of it is. Mm, anyway, I can't remember. Snowflakes from the snowflake set you know, for more of a wintry feel. And then here's the fall project. This was my favorite one. I used the falling leaves embossing folder back there. And then there's the grapevine. I used both of those wreaths that we used today. One is um, early espresso and one was so saffron. And then um, inked up these little sprigs right here um, with a dauber. You can, you stamp it in um, so saffron and then you use a dauber to add some I used, I think, pumpkin pie on there um, to add some color to it. But there's that yellow paper, too. We were going to make this um, as one of our projects today, but then I realized I have none of this paper left either. The yellow and the red out of this pack, I have used all of it. Oh, and I think, and the orange, I have used it all. Um, I need to use the other colors up, but those, the red and the yellow specifically, I had used a ton of. Okay, so before I switch over to show you guys all the pre-order, let me just remind you of what is available. Here are the make and takes that I will send to you for free with any order over $35 using this host code put in by Monday at midnight, okay? That, that offer is available all weekend. Now the offer that ends tonight is, where did I put that paper? Where did I put the paper? Anyway, it's this one right here. It's the sale. When the sale ends, so does the the second part of my offer. $50, you're going to get these and an embellishment. $100, you're going to get these, an embellishment, and two kinds of adhesive. You're also, you also get the all-star tutorial bundle if you spend 50 or over 100, okay? Okay, so that is that. Remember, Monday at midnight. I'm going to move these out of the way. What time is it? 3.03. Man, I did good today. All right, I'm going to move these out of the way. I'm going to show you the pre-order. Now, <sighs> If you're new around here, let me just explain how this works. We'll, we'll have a new catalog January 5th. That is this catalog. I call it the spring catalog. They call it the January to April many catalog. It's going to end earlier. The last spring catalogs ended in June. This one's going to end in April, which means it's only four months long. So I can only show you the front. I cannot show you anything inside. Um, demonstrators got this last weekend at our demonstrator event. Um, we also have access to the PDF. It's a perk for being a demonstrator. Um, 
the second thing that we got was a celebration uh, brochure. Celebration will be January and February only. And they have said that, that will, we're going back to one celebration a year. So we won't have that summer celebration anymore. It'll just be January and February. Celebration, during celebration, you get something free from this catalog with every 50 or or $100 that you spend. Um, there's some really, really cute paper in here. You can see, look, right here. It's There's just beautiful things in here. Um, I was really surprised with the design of our catalog this year. It was very different with that purple, right? I don't know. It just was very different. Um, if you want to buy the starter kit. So we got to order a few things if you went to the event. But if you, um, no, no, Denise, there will be celebration in the winter. Not There just won't be that second celebration in the summer. Remember the last few years we've had celebration in the summer. Did I say winter? There is a celebration in January and February, but there will no longer be celebration in July and August. Okay, does that clarify? But anyways, back to this. If you are a demonstrator, you can order from this catalog from both of these beginning on December 1st. So if you've thought about buying the um, starter kit, that would be a good time too in December because you can order from these catalogs in your starter kit. It's a perk for being a demonstrator. All right, let me show you all the paper first, okay? This is the um, Delicate Desert paper. And I actually had my hands on this a little bit early for my projects too. I didn't end up using it on my main projects, but I did on some of my alternate projects. It's a really pretty, we've got a whole, um, a whole like Southwestern kind of soft desert. Look at that. Doesn't that look like the Grand Canyon? Gorgeous. Um, but it's like soft succulent, um, the color no one likes that I like. What's it called? Um, Cajun Craze. This is the paper I used. That was really good for tacos. Um, and just kind of a geometric, I like that one. That was on the card that I showed you with a pinata. And uh, that's kind of a gray, mon they're all kind of monochromatic, kind of, you know, soft. Let me show you the stamps that go, stamps and dies that go with this paper. Um, they are called da, 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 Desert Details. And there's this faux, I think this goes with this. Does this go with this? I can't remember. Pale Papaya Velvet Ribbon, maybe not, I don't know. De uh, desert Details. And I will tell you that I was underwhelmed when I saw this in the catalog, but then Shelly and Sarah, our CEO, did a Sammy presentation using this. And I, of course, fell in love with it. So it's very pretty. You just wait. I will show you some adorable things with it. Frame, I like this. Um, some of these things will be really good for the Fiesta, Taco Fiesta stamp set, like this little frame right here. And this and that. So, okay, so that is that. There's also this paper. And I don't, guys, I don't remember what goes with what. I feel like this goes with that, but maybe not. This is a metallic brush, dry brush metallic got two different colors in here that's a blue and that's a I think calypso coral every time I do this I then my that sticks to the paper and it rips it okay then I gotta make room for all this this is some kind of shimmer paper this is called fine shimmer Ooh, okay I like fine shimmer because you know what it's not it doesn't have the texture of regular shimmer and it's real fine, <laughs> you know, like soft. Ooh, very pretty, fresh breezia. That is, I don't know, gold. Ooh, that is very pretty. Maybe that's what goes with the desert, who knows. Okay, this paper, this is celebration paper, right? Celebration, is this, this is celebration paper, right? Now suddenly I'm second guessing myself. Hold on, let me look in the catalog real quick. Yes, okay. <laughs> Um, this is a huge 12 by 12 stack called Dandy Designs, and this is free with a $100 purchase. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. I really haven't studied this stuff because I've been so busy. Um, Jan, the mini catalog will start for non-demonstrators on January 5th. Um, let me see if I missed any other questions. Oh, the shimmer goes with the floral suite. Well, Trisha, I was way off, wasn't I? <laughs> yes, 
you know, that's the thing. Our colors all coordinate, so you could use it with whatever. But this paper speaks to me because look, it's polka dots and stripes and plaids. Monochromatic. I mean, you're going to be tired of seeing this paper because I'm going to use it. Look, grid. I'm going to use the heck out of it. It's so cute, bright, springy, and a huge stack. So you're going to want it. I'm telling you, you're going to want it. This paper is called doo -doo -doo, Dainty Flowers. And it is, again, celebration free with a $50 purchase. Florals for all of my floral fans out there. Kind of a watercolor background. Ooh, that's pretty. Gosh, that looks like something my mom painted. I don't know if my mom is on here or not. That is very pretty. See, you think you see something in the catalog and you're like, meh. And then you see it in person and it is like, whoa. Oh, those are neat, like little frames that you could cut out. More splatter, polka dots, greenery. Man, if you like purple, you've got purple everywhere. All right, now this has something that goes with it, doesn't it? Um, it does, but did we not, did we not get to order that? <laughs> I guess not. It has something that coordinates with it in the annual catalog. I mean, the spring catalog. Okay, now this set, you guys, I know that a lot of you out there live on farms. And you're going to love this. And even if you don't live on farms, like me, you're still going to love this. Let me show you the bundle. So in the spring catalog, there's this bundle called On the Farm. Look at the little hay bale. Oh, my gosh. Um, and so then if you buy the bundle, then you can get the paper for free during celebration. Um, this is going to be so popular. This would be cute for nurseries, for kids. Or for people that just like cute images like me. Look at all the little dyes. Gosh, that's a lot. 27 dyes. Cows, goose. Oh, a tiny rabbit. A duck. Another duck. A cow. A sheep. Look, there's little swirls for the sheep. Hills. Grass line. Windmill. Very cute. Okay, so there's that. I mean, things are always so much cuter in person. We've got a red plaid. We've got um, trees and hills. I like that paper like that, like the background, kind of like a map. We've got um, Chad, who presented this, said it was kind of like a blueprint looking. Okay, uh, okay. We've got some texture, like burlap texture. Little chickens, little birds. And then we've got chicken wire. Yes, I love chicken wire. Here's a cute page. This would be cute as a scrapbook page. When your littles go to the farm on a field trip, a petting zoo. The vegetables, very cute. Is there an avocado in there? No, but I know where you can get an avocado stamp. And then little kind of stitch lines, very cute. Okay, there's that. I need to speed it up because my husband and my daughter are both on the way home. I told them don't come home before 3.30. Um, here's some more paper. This is um, the uh, doo -doo -doo, Seaside Bay, okay? This is not Celebration. Whoa, this is pretty. Look at that gold in there. Oh, look at that. Wow, that's really pretty. Those little birds, shells, very kind of soft and elegant, beachy type paper and images. They did a presentation on this, it was gorgeous. Here's the Seaside Bay, down by the bay. Where the watermelon grows. That's just what that reminded me of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, here are the, ooh, look. Oh, I can just already see that being like a boop, and you put the pearl in there. Cute birds, grass, crab, texture stamps. You are a pearl, rare and precious. Oh, come on. Very nice, very, very nice. Okay. Um, the last stack of paper I have, I like six by six packs. You get more patterns and it's easier for me to ship <laughs> than 12 by 12. You guys look at the texture. Wow. My daughter's going to love this paint. Look at that. Wow. We've had paper like this in the past. It's always very popular. Goodness. That is gorgeous. Again, another one that I was just like, oh, it's okay. 
and then I see it in person. And you know, we have artists on staff that paint these and then they photograph them and turn them into this paper. Like little works of art. It's kind of abstract. Whoa, see that's what my painting would look like. <laughs> that's exactly what my painting would look like. My daughter and my mother have all the art skills. Okay, there is a stamp set that coordinates with that, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Two-tone flora. These are two-step stamps, and they are gorgeous when you stamp them together. They really create kind of um, almost like a 3D look. This will be good for using your stamparatus. Um, big background. Whoa, that is del that's one you're going to definitely have to cut upside down. And then some flower images. All right, the rest. Let's just run through the rest. I will say there was one stamp set they left out of my order. I had to call today. Beautifully happy. This is free with $100. Is that right, guys? I believe. Celebration. Those are hollyhocks, I believe. Decorative borders. Those would be fun to color. Hand-drawn dots. There are some great background stamps in this catalog. I love it. Um, I think that is the suite for the shimmer paper. Which the, um, oh, the florals, Trisha. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, yeah, so Christine says, of course, my most loved uh, items were not on the PPP, which is stands for product purchase premiere. That's the stuff we could order. And I swear they do that on purpose. <laughs> I think they do that on purpose. Um, something fancy. And if I remember correctly, these dies are like tag shaped dies. The, look at that scripty font. Oh yeah, look, oh yes. You guys know I love me some labels and tags. The Snowflake set has um, a little, like a two labels like that shape, and I really like that shape, that kind of like, you know, where we cut the ends off. With deepest sympathy, I didn't forget your birthday, it's just stretching out the celebration. May the good you do come back to you. Nothing fancy, just love, Oh sweet. Um, best family ever. Grandpa, grandma, niece. Oh, I like that font right there. I like the little cutesy fonts. Um, Sweet Citrus. Now, this is an interesting set. Comes with the die and um, embossing folder come together. Like our Wood Slice um, set there in the holiday catalog. It reminds me a lot of that, except it's like lemons. Or oranges or something. Citrus. I guess it could be lemons, limes, or oranges. Um, and then it has the die that cuts it out. I should have opened these all ahead of time, sorry. Again, haven't had any time until today. Very cool. Oh, I love, I love stamping with citrus, like lemons and limes and stuff. One of the very first stamp sets I remember when I first started stamping was lemons and limes. Oranges, I, it, it had a big impact on me, I don't know why. All right, adorable owls, hello, so cute. I mean, every year they have a stamp set that's like little animals. We've had the pigs, had the donkeys. What else have we had um, in celebration? Um, pandas, and we have pandas. So the owls are so cute. Um, kind and sincere. This is, oh, okay. So that those are standalone by themselves. This is celebration. This is spring catalog. This is what everybody was excited about. These are called... A la mode, alphabet a la mode dies. Frogs, yes, Christine, that's right. Sheep, yep, you guys, I knew you'd remember. Sheep, frogs, yeah, the owls would be good for graduation. Yes, you are correct. Um, also, if you were in, if you were a Kyo sorority, I know there's were owls too. I mean, that I don't know why that, I heard somebody say that this weekend, and I was like, oh yeah, owls, there's a lot of things for owls. Okay, look at these, look at these. I love them. You will definitely need to buy a pack of adhesive sheets for these because putting glue on the back, you're going to make a mess, but I absolutely love them. Um, Mindy did a presentation using these. Oh, there's that ink on my finger. Mindy did a presentation at Arlington with these and they were great. Um, I can't wait to use them. I'm going to buy several sets of them because that way I can cut more at once. Okay. So the ribbons that I had, um, pale papaya, I almost called it peekaboo peach, you guys. Pale papaya, um, like a faux velvet, is that what it was? Faux velvet trim. 
feels like real velvet. It's thick. Then we've got an ombre. And I thought this was mint macaron. I was like, seriously, we've got so much mint macaron. But it's actually pool party, if I remember correctly. Pool party. It looks very mint macaron-ish. And then the embellishments. Um, some iridescent pearl gems. Oh, pastel gems. I was like, those don't look like pearls. These I like. Look at those. Little teardrop shaped sequins. Um, gold faceted adhesive back sequins. And last but not least, there are your pearls for your oyster. Flat adhesive back pearls. Aren't those pretty? Okay, so all of that is just a sneak peek. Um, demonstrators will be able to order December 1st. If you want to buy the starter kit in December, you'll be able to order this stuff then too in your starter kit and then on your orders afterwards. Um, but everybody else, it'll be um, January 5th. January 5th, okay? Um, oh, I was gonna show you guys this too. I know you guys like to see some of this stuff. Um, we got, this was our little bag at OnStage. Isn't that cute? Like a little crossbody bag. The little notepad fit in there. I didn't use, look at, it's got the, those flowers on there and it's, hello, it's got grid. Yeah, I think this is gonna be my new measurement notebook because my measurement notebook is got one sheet left. I think that's what I'm gonna use that for. Um, and then if you were in the top, I think it was top 50, you got this crazy case. I don't know what it's for, but I think it is fabulous. It's gold and it's hard. What do you guys think? What do you think this is for? Oh, look, it says right here. I think we were thinking it's like a train case, you know, like for cosmetics and stuff. Yes, perfect. Oh, carry-on companion. All right. Um, and they made this beautiful little tag. And then inside there were stickers. We got a cute umbrella that is in my car. Look at that. I was wondering if my maybe my cut and emboss, mini cut and emboss would fit. I don't know. It's really interesting. Um, it's not something I would have bought myself, but I love it. And I, I'm going to find a reason to use it. And then we get these little um, pens every year that I put on my bulletin board for our achievements. I haven't even taken them out. And that is it. All right, you guys. That was a long Facebook Friday. And hopefully that will make you not be mad that there's not a Facebook Friday next week. It's Thanksgiving. I will be eating my corn casserole <laughs> and sweet potatoes and pumpkin pie next Thursday. I will be back the following week. We might, maybe we'll start 12 days of Christmas the week after Thanksgiving. I don't know. I got to sit down and plan all that out. All right. Um, Pamela, the suitcase was a European size. Really? Is that what you're talking about? Um, Cow pack, that must be, they, see, oh, they also gave us, you guys, this amazing, like, blanket jacket thing that was amazing. Um, it says it's 13 by 9, vanity case. It does say vanity. You know, I don't like a vanity case that's hard and big like this, because I think it takes up too much room. But if you're going to carry it on, you know, then, it, then it'll be okay. Okay, you guys, I know, it's Friday, you got to go. I will see you guys. Well, I don't know when I'll see you. I'll see you not, not next week, but definitely the week after. And I'll let you know the schedule, okay? I'll send an email out, post it on Facebook. Don't forget the sale ends tonight. Do not wait till 1145, please. And uh, I will send make and takes. They'll probably go out late next week because I have to get all the embellishments and stuff in. Happy Thanksgiving to you guys. Um, I hope you have a wonderful week. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.